Hello. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing? So I guess we've got some concern. Is that there's some uh, it smells like alcohol? You guys been drinking this morning? Last, last night. night. Last night. Last night. Yeah. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Registration insurance. How long ago last night? When was the last time you took a drink? Um, last night, probably 12 30. 12 30? Left foot on the line. Right foot in front. Heel touching your toes, hands at your side. And when I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps on the line. I'm sorry, hon, I can't hear you. My knees are shaking. Your knees are shaking? Yes, I, I can't do it. You can't do that? Okay, we'll move forward then. Okay. Hello, how you doing, ma'am? Good, how you doing? So I guess we've got some concern is that there's some, uh, it smells like alcohol. You guys been drinking this morning? Last, last night. night. Last night? Last night. Yeah. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Yeah. Registration insurance? How long ago last night? You know, when was the last time you took a drink? Um, last night, probably 12 30. 12 30? Good registration. You didn't mind, sir? Or? No, you're fine. Okay. Just search for now. I don't know what it is. Resource 106, miscellaneous. Okay, it's the best room in high school. So, do you remember what, what time it was that you drank? Uh, 1.30. 1.30 this morning? Okay. Yeah, we left, we left the girls around. What's that? Girls okay, all right, so give me a second, but I'm talking to her real quick, all right? Uh, I'm sorry. You're good. So do me a favor, man, just step out here so I can talk to you in the back. Stay in the car, bud. I'm sure come right back here. So you said around 1.30 was the last time you guys drank? Yeah. Okay. All right. I just woke up. I took her to school. Who, who do you take to school? My niece. Your niece? Okay. I'm gonna do this little thing with your eyes, alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, you're okay with that? Okay. Alright. You see the tip of this right here? This little white part right here? Mm -hmm. Alright, just want you to keep eyes on that. Mm -hmm. And only your eyes follow, do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Not in your head. Alright. Remember, with your eyes only, all right? So you're, you're, you're following with your head, that's what I'm asking. I'm really nervous right now because I okay. just woke up and I'm, I don't... You what? I just woke up to take my niece to school and I don't know what's going on right now, so... You yeah. smell like alcohol. I know, because I drank okay. last night. Okay. Right. Do me a favor, take a seat right there for now. Okay? Resource 106, can I get a... The 106 car being around, reference possible signal one. You want me to walk her over there? I can't Do you want me to walk her over there? Hey there, everybody. So I want to talk to you right now about our sponsor, Jedmatch. Very excited that we partner with them, and many of our true crime fans will know exactly who they are. So Jedmatch is the largest public DNA database, and since 2018, Jedmatch has played a crucial role in helping law enforcement solve over a thousand cases like the Golden State Killer, the NorCal Rapist, the Buckskin Girl. And this is all because of regular, everyday people who use the service. The way it works is you take a DNA test, you upload the data to GEDmatch, and you become a genetic witness, helping identify serial killers or unknown descendants. It is 100% free to sign up and upload. And also, you get all of these tools for your own genetic genealogy research, which is very cool. This is just a unique way that true crime fans can actually help fight crime. So if you want to learn more about the Genetic Witness Program and how to join GEDmatch, head over to www.gedmatch.com slash bodycam or click the link in the description. Yeah, you ready? Come over here. 
just go straight to her. Yeah, there's a guy in there. I told him to stay in the car. All right. So we got flagged down that smelled like alcohol. She dropped off her child. She, uh, she put the window down. And smells still like alcohol. She said she last had a drink at 1:30 this morning at Earl's. All right. I came home. I went to sleep. I woke up. Took her to school, and that's it. Okay. Did you do any? I just did the, just the eyes. The, that's it. And then I stopped. Yep. I haven't read a Miranda or anything like that. For any question or anything. Just regular DUI. You don't have to. Yeah. Um. All right. So, do you are you okay with doing some exercises with me this morning? You're good with that. All right. Have a good spot to set up in this parking lot. It's so cool. Um. We could, yeah, if you want to park between those, you use that whole line right there. There's an open spot right there between two parking spots. Just hang out here, man. Yeah. Okay, walk with me real quick. Right over here. Yeah, this is fine. I gotta see where she's gonna stop. She's gonna use those lines uh, to use, use it as a line. We're gonna walk over here, right? Come on, just stand right in front of this patrol car right here. We'll just stay right here, all right? Very good. Very good. Ground patrol car park right here. Somebody trying to cut you off while you're doing this. You need this? Uh, uh, I haven't, I haven't made contact with him. I just told him to stay in the car for now. I don't think he's gonna be good. He was out drinking with her last night. Right. I'm gonna park my patrol car. Somebody. Tries to cut her off. Mom, I think. Hey, did you sign in as 106? Yeah. That should be. I even call it as a 106. Oh, they got it as Barkwell. Oh, okay. Oh, Sergeant Casey. How's Parkwell doing a miscellaneous at, at Sebastian High School? He's supposed to be off. I said, 
Oh well, yeah, he is. It's from CBS. This is here. He goes, well, they got him in Parkwell. I'm like, oh, I'll check out in a minute again on the radio. Well, he's going to get it yeah. straight away. But, uh, so, how, how did you, how did this all come in? I guess these guys, uh, when they dropped all the parents, I guess she bumped her and she put the window down. I haven't really talked to them a whole lot, and she okay. just felt like straight off the wall. So I walked yeah. over there, and I knocked the window, she put the window down, and it just reeked like yeah, she got down. Yeah, like, when I walked was like, yeah. I was like, you been drinking? She's like, I drank last night. When's the last time you drank? She's like, at 1.30 this morning. I was like, it's not even that yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the last time you drank. was at 1.30, she said. I did the court case. The fast and her eyes were just bouncing. Yeah. Sorry? Um, I have, I do have a medical condition. Now you have a medical condition? What's that? Because I asked you that in the beginning. I know, I know. Go ahead and turn around and talk to me. It's not that no, I don't have it. That's that no. Um, so you're not on any medication? I did, um, Benadryl. Um, I go into an anaphylactic shock and, um, highs and stuff. Sometimes. So that's all I'm saying. 
the, if, if it happens, I'm lining up this. Absolutely. 100%. Do you have anything on you that's going to cook Benadryl. me or stick me? Benadryl. And my you have Benadryl in your pocket on no, you no, right no, now? No, 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 no. Do you, okay, do you have anything on your person that's going to cook me or stick me? No, no, I'm going to no, pat you no, down no, before no, I put no, you no, in my no, truck. No, okay? Go ahead and turn around for me. He's probably got the park trying to ride this guy. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to move up or? Um, yeah, I want to move up. Here, move this way. She's going to move the patrol car and then we'll put you in the back, all right? It'll be easier so, to get in that way. You want on the other side? I want you to get to the jail. They, they allow you calls when you get to the jail, all right? Wait a minute. Okay, a little bit, but what happens next? Oh, sir, um, she'll tell you in a minute, but as far as I know, it seems like you're being arrested for driving under the influence. Okay. okay? If the school's okay with parking the vehicle here, I'm okay with that? Yeah, I'm gonna figure that out. Wait, because he's in there, he's gonna have to find a ride home. He's not going there either. Yeah. Well, I have her deal, yeah. so. Anything else for me? I'll do a supplement. Yeah, I'll just do a supplement with what she told you as far as when she stopped drinking, how much she had yeah. to drink. Did she answer that? No, I didn't ask for that. She just says, it was the time she stopped drinking at 1.30 because she was still small. She said at 1.30. Real quick, hon. When did you start drinking last night? Um, 7. 7 p.m.? Okay. Rough estimate about how much did you have to drink last night? Um, I had wine at the softball game and then I had, um... One what? No, wine. A oh, wine. wine? Okay. Um, about I, how much? Um, I took it more, um, softly food and so far away from the back of a, of a cup. Okay. Eight ounces, sixteen ounces? Probably, um, eight ounces. Eight and ounce? Was, mm, and okay. Then, um, I had beer at the bar, probably three. And that's was this a draft bottle? Um, bottles. Bottles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And three at the bar, and then what? Uh, four, probably three, four at the bar. Okay. And the wine. And you had more wine after that as well? No, 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 not after that. Okay, so. Um. I had wine. I had wine. I got home at five thirty. I had some wine. All right, just email me your narrative. Dispatch has been updated. Dispatch has been updated. 1212, why are you? Why are you getting Lower of five, sir. Lower of five. How are you doing? Hey, another good day. Do you have your uh, school ID on here, sir? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. Where's the W wing? Right here, right? Yeah, there's there's other shoes right there. Thank you. I just gotta get your name. I'll use the address for the high school for years. 
So give me a little bit. I know you called over the radio, but how did you end up? She came in the front. They had a student in the car. Yep. She came in the front, and when they turned around to come back out, I told her, I walked over there. I said, you can't come this way because. She came in the wrong way. Right. That's the entire, you know, everybody goes that way. Yes. And I said, just wait here. I have to wait until some of this traffic, because I usually don't let them, but I could spit reek. Okay. As soon as I went to the front, she turned the wheel and started to come at me, and I was like, whoa, 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 back it up. And then I went back to the car to tell her again, you got to wait. And she never said a word. She just looked at me blank. Yeah. And he was the one that did all the talking. Yeah. And it okay. Reeked. That's all I just need to hide. You got contact with her, and that's all. All right, thank yep, you. We'll take it. care of the rest. She's uh, on her way to the jail. How bad was she? Uh, she started doing the, the good surprise, and then she realized she was not doing great, so she just completely stopped. She said, I'm done. All right, she had this blank stare, just like, yeah. I was like, whoa, feel bad for the daughter. Yep, I think it was her niece, she said. Yeah, thank you, ma'am.